Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Coach Fury here today and I'm here with a brand new series that we're going to be uploading on a regular basis to the channel because I have joined the CBGM, one of the uh, the premier featured draft day sports college basketball leagues that has just started over the weekend. I will of course put a link in the description of where that league can be found on Discord and if you do have the game I would definitely suggest that you join it um, as you can probably see from the, the the intro here in the title i have taken none other than the michigan wolverines um, and we're going to be seeing whether we can you know bring a title bring some glory into the michigan team here and it's going to be a real challenge because the cbgm is a, um, a human-based online um, version of the game where um, we will be playing against actual human gms and, and ad's and coaches and seeing whether we can um, you know compete in a, a bit of a more challenging environment we're not just up against the the computer and the, and, the, and the program we are up against actual human beings who are um going to be really challenging us and testing us here we have some of the uh the premier college basketball uh, coaches um that you've probably seen from the gm games channel because that is where the uh, the actual league is being run and held from. Um, that is GM Games. They are they are putting this together and running it. And well, today is, is just a bit of an introduction to that. Really, we're going to kind of dive in, have a little look at my Michigan Wolverines team, look at the uh, the task we have in front of us, and then um, really try and break that down. And on a sort of a weekly basis, I'll be uploading sort of ten to fifteen minute videos each time probably talking about what's going on you know who we're recruiting who we're looking at maybe what you were looking at in terms of strategy are there any big decisions we've got to make um and we'll, we'll take obviously a little bit of a wider look around the league as, as we do that over the coming weeks but it is a tall order set against us and um, for those of you who, who know um wolverine studios the owner of wolverine studios is gary gorski and um it's fair to say that he's a pretty much a diehard Michigan Wolverines fan. So the pressure is on me here. I have not only got a team that, uh, you know, is, is a pretty good team when we have a look in a minute, I think. But we are, you know, we, 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 we've got to make sure we perform fairly well because the, uh, the owner of the developer of the game um, actually is a Michigan Wolverines fan. So let's, let's dive straight in and have a little look and, and see really what the challenge is in front of us. So as you can see, there I am, a 35 year old head coach. The league has a sort of a standard set in terms of skills. So everyone kind of starts with 50 and everything. So, you know, there's no inconsistencies there. So that's that's pretty much where we are. Um, in terms of our goals that have been set for us by the uh, the college administration, well, it's fair to say we've, we've got a bit of a challenge on our hands here. They obviously seem to think that we are a, a premier um, basketball team, premier program. Um, the, the expectation is to to win a national championship, win a conference championship, win 20 plus games um, and maintain the school prestige, which is obviously fairly high in terms of the, the Michigan Wolverines at this stage. So, yeah, there's not a lot of room for manoeuvre in that, is there really? Um, we'll see if we can live up to that. It's going to be a real huge challenge for us. But, you know, to do that, we, we obviously need some uh, some fairly adequate staff um, to look at that. And one of the great things about the CBGM is that it has obviously the real teams that is loaded in from the the college mod that you can you can get available from the Wolverine Studios forum, but it also has the real coaches as well. So you know, John John Howard, I've, I'm afraid you've been sacked and I've been hired. Tough break for you, unfortunately. But I do have his coaching staff, which is actually quite nice to be honest with you. So we obviously have Phil Martelli, Sadie Washington, and and Howard Isley. Um, yeah, I mean, whether we keep these guys or whether we look at others, I'm, I'm not sure yet. But um, I'm, I'm really happy with Phil Martelli. His recruiting ability three style will certainly take that off the bat. Um, that is something we will definitely need, being at one of the you know a high prestige team, really. And you could probably see from the top here, we are ranked 17th. So let's go and have a little look, I think, perhaps, and just see where we are in terms of the polls and who what teams are out on top. And you can see there, we are 17th in sort of the media poll. Um, Gonzaga and Florida are sort of the top two teams. I mean, not surprising really. They they have some really good um, players and some a really good program. Um, and you've got Kentucky, Duke, you know, North Carolina in there. Michigan State. Oh, you're above me. That's that's that's, that's a tough pill to swallow. But uh, yeah, seventeenth. So we are one of the premier sort of college programs here, and uh, we'll see if we can we can live up to that hype really. 
Um, in order to live up to that hype, obviously one of the things we need to have a look at is what our actual team looks like. So whilst we obviously have the, the, real, the real teams and the real coaches, we obviously don't have the real players. It's uh, you know, thousands and thousands of players. So we'll see what we've got here. I mean, instantly, straight away, you can see there we've probably got a fairly strong starting five. If we probably start at the top, we don't really seem to have a top premier point guard, which is a bit of a concern for me. We don't have someone who I can really just give the rock to and sort of run any sort of style that we've got. Um, it means that we might have to run a slightly, maybe a slightly different type of offense around that because we haven't got anyone really who has the handling ability to do that. We do have um, Larry Beak, Bike Beak. Um, who looks like a really good passer and, and not a great ball handler, but, you know, possibly we could utilise him there. He looks like he's a complete star. I mean, his scoring ability is great. Looks like an okay outside shooter, but that defensive ability, that that stealing and defensive ability is something I'm fully going to try and utilise with him. Um, in terms of the other guard that we've got that, that looks pretty decent, um, Mark I I Iacona. I'm, I'm butchering these names, so if anyone in the comments or on the Discord watches this video and comes back please tell me if i'm saying these names wrong because I, I always butcher names um looks like a really interesting type of guard um a really good rebounder for a guard his passing and handling it looks like he's going to be a nice sort of off the guard sort of spot up shooter type player for us as you can see there he operates around the mid range and outside and uh you know doesn't tends to shoot quite a lot i'm guessing a lot of that will be catch and shoots looking at his his stats here so again good stealing, stealing ability as well and then if we move down to the, the small forward position, we have Scotty Orzler, who looks like a, an elite player again as well. Um, again, a great rebounder. We, we, we should, looking at this, be a pretty good rebounding team because um, we've got guys outside of normal positions who can rebound pretty well. Again, a very good defender, good outside shooter, um, and, and some really good um, abilities there. Again, he operates mainly in the mid-range. Uh, and then if we move on to the, the front call, we've obviously got... Um, Michael Belez, who again looks like a pretty good rebounder. That drawing fouls ability is going to be fantastic to utilize. I, I love having post players who can draw fouls. It makes such a matchup problem for any team you tend to play if you can foul out that front court that they have. Um, possibly not the, the best defensive player in terms of one to one, but he's a good shot blocker. Again, great stealing ability. Um, pretty good in terms of his shooting mechanics as well. And then we've got um, sort of probably one of our premier players again in terms of center i mean this guy just is off the chart in terms of defensive ability rebounding again a good stealer can shoot as well i mean we've got a center here who can shoot pretty well operates in the post and mid-range and can take outside shots um in, in bernie's sweet wine um so i i am really looking forward to seeing this starting five i mean it's, it's fair to say probably beyond that starting five we we have a bunch of players who are going to be really interesting to see how they develop because as you can see here in terms of their overall potential we've got a couple of guys like Jojo Geeson who's not a great player at this moment in time but that potential rating is off the charts you know if you compare him to someone like uh, Iacona I mean fairly similar in terms of some of the ratings so interesting to see if we how he develops you've got Crispy Cannon again not the greatest player but looks like he could be a pretty much a nice sort of spot up shooter off the bench for us um and you know nick campbell uh, if we take a little look at him again not the best player at the moment but he's got some development ability and um, we've got a lot of guys who've got this sort of three and a half to four star kind of potential uh, keith daniel will probably be utilized i imagine because we will need more than two guys in, in the post so that's how we we kind of line up at the minute i've been fair to say that we looks like on observation here we have four maybe five decent play well five probably five decent players possibly a six if you include the the likes of, of keith daniel who could probably do looks like he does a bit of everything okay and beyond that we, we don't have that real depth so that's going to be a key thing is, is you know obviously we'll have to make sure we we try to avoid some of those injuries um you've got quite a fair few freshmen actually in terms of the, the guys who've got potential so that's the good thing is we can develop them and you know, might have a couple of years of them as well, and we can build build around them. Um, in, in terms of our key seniors, obviously we've got uh, Larry Larry Beak, who is a key senior for us. Um, nicely, a, a sweet wine is a junior. Um, Belez is a sophomore. So we've only really we're only really going to be losing in terms of 
what I would say are key players in Larry Beak this season, possibly. Unless anyone declares early, obviously, but you know, on the face of it, that that's that's good for us. So that's how we're we're looking. Um, let's take a little look at the um. Let's see if we can have a little look at the um strategy stuff as well i mean i haven't set any of this up yet we're still just sort of browsing really at this point we'll, we'll probably come back next time talk a bit about recruiting a bit about strategy it looks like we've got a lot of guys who um who know uh, several different zone defenses which is good doesn't look like we have any real major preference there um beak is just an absolute insane nut at zone defense it looks like um our manned defense looks okay Clearly, we're not well. Our motion, sorry, our motion offense looks okay. Um, oh, these are offense. Oh, sorry, these are offense. These are not defense. So, in terms of yeah, our motion defense, our motion offense looks okay. We've got we can pretty much attack most zones, most of our starting guys, and we play a bit of triangle, interestingly, which is 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 interesting. We obviously we're not going to probably play flex any of these because I mean, look, we've got no one who can play them. If we take a little look at the defense, clearly we play man man to man, um, and we've got. Yeah, we can do some full call um, and some one two two, but outside of that, we would probably have to do some sort of development there if we wanted to play any other types of defense. So that's that's interesting takeaway from that one. Um, we haven't done any practice plans or coach assignments yet, but let's just end the the episode with having a little look at the uh, how much money we have to spend because that's that's an interesting one because we are at the report stage, we are at the very start of of this league. Hundred and six thousand. That's not bad, actually. I, I mean, we can we can do a fair bit with that. Um, I, I'm not too sure in terms of how many scholarships we have. We'll probably get that information after this. But you know, it's clear that obviously we're not going to go straight in and, and buy the uh, international premium report for hundred thousand. Um, we'll have to sort of budget ourselves a little bit accordingly. But you know, one hundred six thousand. I'll certainly certainly don't mind that. And where do we stand in terms of recruiting class? Uh, we haven't got any stats on that at the minute. Let's have a little look. I'm sure there's, um, I'm pretty sure in the polls and media, there's a little bit in terms of the um, magazines. Here we go. That's what I wanted to look at. Ah, oh, season preview is not out yet, so we'll have to cover that next time. But you know, that that probably brings us to a close on on this first episode. It's just a bit of a walk around of our team and and our expectations. Clearly, we are ranked seventeenth for the minute, and and a valid reason. Our starting five is pretty impressive. Um, going to be key for me to make sure that we're playing to our strengths in that and we'll, we'll have to do a bit of a review of that but you know that's good um the expectation is obviously very very high um we are expected to win a national title and a conference title so uh coming out of the bat here it's not going to be a bit of a, a rebuilding a rejigging project we are we are fully expected to do very well with this michigan wolverine side whether I can live up to that or not, and um, we will see. I haven't actually delved into college basketball for a couple of years now. And for those of you who remember, I, I did a St. John's Let's Play series a few years ago when, when I joined another online league, and I, I haven't joined one since. So we will see how we get on. We are up against some of the very, as I said, some of the very premier um, YouTubers as well in this league, um, and some of the guys who've played this for many, many years. And I'm looking forward to the challenge. I'm looking forward to seeing how we do with the Wolverines. And... Uh, Let's, let's, we'll, we'll follow along together and, and see how we get on. Um, if you have any ideas in terms of as we talk about recruiting, we talk about the players we've got, strategy, feel free to chuck them in the comments box, hit the like and subscribe and, and on a weekly basis we'll, we'll get this out to you and we'll talk about it. But uh, if you are interested in joining the league, I'll put the description in the, uh, the information in the description and feel free to join along and um, we'll, we'll chat and hopefully see you there. But uh, Let's see how we get on with this Michigan Wolverines side. It's going to be a fascinating ride for sure.